In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this layered, moving, animated, sort of dancing bitmap dither effect with some new glow features that we added to Dither Boy and After Effects. I've covered this sort of thing in the past, but I haven't done it with quite a few of the new features that we added. So some of this is just covering some old ground with a new Dither Boy update that we just put out, Dither Boy version 5. So if you are new to Dither Boy or if you've been around a while, by the end of the video, you'll know how to make this stuff that I'm showing you on screen right now. So before I get started, I'll obviously leave Dither Boy linked below. But if you don't have access to Adobe After Effects, then you can use any software that will allow you to blend turbulent noise. Now, what I'll also do is at the end of this recording, I will export an asset and I will drop it in the Dither Boy Discord server. So if you go to extras in Dither Boy and click on Discord, you will be able to download some of what I make in After Effects just in case you don't have it on your end just to make things easier but i'm in after effects here and i'm just going to drop in my image and then i'm going to go new adjustment layer down here in the timeline and then in effects and presets if you can't see this little search bar just go to window and make sure effects and presets is ticked i'm just going to type turb for turbulent noise and i'm going to drag that on to the adjustment layer then i'm going to change the blend mode of the adjustment layer to overlay if you move the playhead around you'll see all that's done is just added these clouds to the image if i uh, just zoom in a bit so in order to get this to move you're going to press alt on your keyboard and click on evolution and the little stopwatch next to it and you'll get the expression control little text part pop up here where you can just type the word wiggle followed by an open bracket and two numbers the first number is the frequency and the second number is the amplitude so if i do one for the frequency that means it's going to be slow but if I do 360 for the amplitude, that means it's going to go all the way around the dial. And if I play now, you can basically see the wiggle going once all the way around, but just like quite infrequently or quite slowly. So I'm now going to export that and open up Dither Boy. And I'm going to go file, video, import video, and it's going to extract frames. And here's our turbulent noise animated version of the image. So from here in the past, I would just have said to apply an ordered dither and lower the contrast but now we've got the depth slider you can do this on like more complicated images or you don't really have to do it on something super simple for this to work in the past i've done it on like faces or really clear side profiles or silhouettes whereas this image of the hand had some quite complex lighting on it so if you just up the depth slider without any palette applied you'll see for this image it just turns gray but if i then turn up the contrast and the highlights and if I lower the luminance threshold, you'll see the dither is now layered. So this means we can get that effect that I've shown in the past, but it's much more forgiving to a simpler image. And because we're using the depth slider here, you can also bring in a color palette. But if you don't want to do that, when you take effects now, if you up the threshold, you can isolate only certain sort of levels of the dither with threshold, threshold smoothing until you've got the kind of glow set up that you want. Obviously, if you would like to, you can introduce a palette. We've now got the source palette category, which is just going to create a color palette from your source image. So if I go for source four here, that's quite a bit darker than what I had set up just then. So I'm going to need to lower the threshold on the glow a little bit and I'm going to up the midtones as well. And so now if I go file, video and export, once I'm happy with the glow and I've applied a palette, it'll process the frames and we get this new effect out of it with the new depth slider and the ability to link in the depth to the glow threshold. And if you chose to, you also get the ability to dither from the source palette now as well. Obviously this works with every other dithering effect in Dither Boy. So maybe I'll export some more and show you some variations here. But uh, obviously I'm aware, very quick tutorial. I just wanted to show how this worked. Obviously the reason this works how it does is because dithering heavily reliant on luminosity and adding the turbulent noise in After Effects is just adding this like clouds, the noise effect to all the pixels here with the overlay blend mode, which just creates like some chaos in the luminosity, basically from a dithering perspective. So the output, you can still see the shape of the hand, but you get this nice dancing effect on the top, some movement just through the patterns. So yeah, just a quick refresher on this process since it works a little bit different now and it's a little bit improved since I originally covered 
covered this back in like spring um if there's any do the boy stuff you want to see me cover if there is anything that you want to see added to do the boy then please get in touch let me know we're still working on another update so there is something else coming in the future obviously sometimes i just got to make a tutorial where i'm just recovering something from the past but gonna get to some new stuff in the next video or in the coming videos so stick around if you want to see that but other than that thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one